Hey guys, it's Steven here. Welcome back to another video. Manchester City have just beat Barnsley 4 0. We smashed you, Barnsley. Now, Barnsley, obviously, I. It's unfair to rub it in their faces. It's just a preseason friendly. It means nothing. But it was a really good, fun game of football. I did a quick watch along over on Twitch, actually, which was good fun. Fabrizio Romano raided my channel during that, which was absolutely wild. He went crazy. Big love to Fab, who slid into my DMs last night, which is a true story. I'm going to try and do a chat with him soon about Manchester City transfer news. Um, but that was only the start of it. A crazy day of football with Manchester City beating Barnsley 4-0. Um, it was a good friendly as well. I enjoyed it. Of course, I've got to address the elephant in the room beforehand. I've got to talk a little bit about the latest reports about Kane and Greedus before we get on to the match report. If you saw during the game, uh, Percy, the Telegraph reporter, John Percy, who drops a bombazo here and there, said that Jack Grealish is just waiting for Villa to sign off so we can talk to Manchester City, which is huge news. And we all know that this is going to happen now, basically. Uh, I feel relieved given what I've been saying recently online and social media, but this looks very likely. But the other big bit of news, and there's two as well, actually, um, one not quite as big, but the other one was that Harry Kane is expected to tell Spurs back when he's back at Monday, that he wants to play with Jack Grealish in Manchester City, uh, which is huge news. That's from Mike McGrath and John Percy as well. Very connected journalists for what it's worth. Especially John Percy doesn't fuck around when it comes to transfer. So that's a big bit of news there. Um, whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. Um, because Grealish seems an easier deal to do. I think it's a release fee clause potentially. I don't know. But whether it'll happen or not, I don't really know. But what I will say is that... Um, it's all quite exciting. The, the counter side to that is Liam Blapp is allegedly going on loan to Stoke, which is a good move for him. The Championship is obviously a good place for him to hone his abilities. And obviously Stoke, with his dad there as a coach, Roy De Lapp, makes an awful lot of sense. So it's very, very exciting. But today, I'm going to leave transfer talk and talk a little bit about the game because City have just beat Barnsley 4-0 in a very, very, very fun friendly. Um, it was genuinely fun. Um, we started off with a team. I'm going to try and remember this but from the top of my head. Let's see if I can remember. Zach Steffen in goal. Cancelo, Diaz, Ake, Mendy. Played Fernandes behind the two Academy Wonder Kids in McAtee and Palmer. Then we had, um, on the right, we had Morris, Ben Knight through the middle as a false nine, and Samuel Adozi over on the left. And to be honest, it was a really good fun watch. Um, I've Obviously, we've got Blackpool on Tuesday now as well, so hopefully some of these players get another game because they were good in that first half. I was particularly impressed with Morris. Um, he was really good. Uh, the Blonde Boys FC, basically, linking up with so many of those goals. But Mares was absolutely on fire. And he played a lovely, lovely little ball, which led to... Who scored first? Adozi scored first, uh, which is... Um, Mares played a lovely ball to Adozi at the back post. He scored his second goal in two games. Um, a lovely little cross ball. Adozi tapping in. But Adozi had a really good preseason, man. He's one of those players that's gone under the radar a little bit because he's probably not the superstar in the way that Delap or Makati or Palmer is or Lavia or whatever. But he's a really good footballer. Uh, a really really effective winger as well and even though he wasn't really running at his man a lot today he could have won a penalty he scored a goal and he was effective uh, another good performance for him and he's got a second goal in two games from Manchester City Football Club that's got to turn heads at some point hasn't it and I'm very happy for him as well guys you get the back post it's such a rare trait for some footballers but once again he did it and he scored a goal happy for him a lovely lovely preseason so far for Samuel Adozi a very talented young winger second that second goal was from um Ben Knight, this was once again Blonde Boy FC, it really was, uh, I think it was Cancelo, a little one-two with Mares, uh, a beautiful ball from Mares, kind of curved in behind so Cancelo didn't have to halt his run, and he picked out Ben Knight uh, and the Blonde Boy Peroxide, uh, fired at home for a tap-in, um, Ben Knight uh, having a good preseason as well, um, tiny, diminutive, but darting and alive and a good little player, probably set for a loan I reckon at some point, I don't know where he'll go to, but another goal for another intelligent young player, and then Mara's got a goal, a delightful first time deep cross from Mendy. Honestly, he walloped it from deep, but he picked out Morris delightfully, hit it on the volley into the bottom corner. Mara's um, playing like a leader, which I really, really enjoyed. Genuinely playing like someone who's aware. He's a little bit more senior these days, and I, I admire that because um, Palmer won a penalty with a lovely little bit of skill, delightful skill to win a penalty. The boy's ready for the first team. He missed the penalty. <laughs> Get him in the first team, Guardiola. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. We, everyone misses a penalty every now and then. It was probably the nerves getting to him. Palmer is a good goal scorer, so I'm surprised by that. That's the Manchester City curse. That's the Euros curse. He's probably been... He probably When he stepped up, he probably thought, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. Ah, oh, I've missed it. But it doesn't matter. Palmer is a, del a delightful footballer. Um, and he was effective once again. McAtee, once again, looking uh, so calm and so composed. Um, such an intelligent footballer, McAtee. I really like him. Ferner, Ferner. It's just classic Ferner everywhere. Cancelo, sprightly, alive. Um, uh, I love it when Cancelo gets a license to go forward and he was all over Barnsley. And um, 
Defensively, totally fine. AKD is good. Mendy getting forward. Stefan had very little to do. Into the second half, who did we see? We ended the team um, looking totally different in the end. Let me just try and see what the team was at the end. Um, it was, we had uh, Kuto on the pitch. Barely had a touch, if I'm being honest. Um, uh, Finley Burns and Sadler, who looked totally fine defensively. Zinchenko came on as well and got a few minutes and looked once again totally fine. It was good to see him back in action. Big love to Zinni there. Claudio Gomez came on and once again tidy, composed, a good little footballer. I Capozo unfortunately like fluffed a chance, which was a bit of a shame. Felt so so sorry for him. Uh, but he was good. Oh, I forgot to mention Ake's goal, by the way. Nathan Aki, baby. Nathan Aki. You all meant to go, whoa, well then, hopefully he did. But okay, happy for him, man. Uh, but yeah, Pozo, uh, another neat little footballer, came on and kind of fluffed his lines when he went through and goal. Happens to the best of us. And Gundogan back on the pitch, which was lovely as well to see. Gundogan, another that obviously be one in good form going into the new season. He looked in good shape as well, which was lovely. Gundogan back on the pitch is always good news as far as I'm concerned. Um, Roberts came on, lo lovely little run here and there. Um, Morgan Rogers is another, looks so much ready for first team football to the point where I understand if he wants to go on loan. I'll just leave full time now, if I'm being honest, because it's there's so many there's so many roadblocks in front of the room, and he's clearly ready for first team football after uh, a very impressive loan at Lincoln last season. A good little player, and Marine Moreno as well. Uh, Pablo Moreno, the guy was on loan at Girona. He had another little decent run out. Um, got an assist as well for Ake. He was trying to score, if I'm being honest, with the back heel, but he got an assist. Um, and he looks intelligent. I'm not. I don't think he's necessarily going to make it at Manchester City, but he's a good little player. You can see him having a good career somewhere. Uh, skillful, uh, intelligent, creative. I like him a lot. Um, good player. But overall, the friendly was good, man. It was good. It was good fun. Uh, obviously, it's invaluable minutes for some of these players. You want to see uh, certain players with the Community Shield getting close and obviously at the start of the season getting some minutes in their boots. And obviously, with the likes of Kevin De Bruyne sat in the stands watching that game and all the England lads about to come back relatively soon as well, we could see against Blackpool maybe one or two of the senior players involved as well. That friendly is really important. And I've always felt with friendlies that it doesn't really matter if we don't play particularly well, but the bonus is so far we are playing well, which is always good because these young lads are grabbing their opportunities and they are playing really well. And of course, the first team players look up for it, which is always a good sign. Mares knows if Greenish comes in, that's one less winger slot available potentially, or I don't know, it's one less attacker slot. Greenish could play as a midfielder, of course, but it makes squad competition harder. And Gundogan will know that as well. So these players have to impress. And even though it's only pre-season friendlies, there is good a chance as any to get off on a strong footing for the start of the season. So that stuff is absolutely important. We, uh, they can pretend it isn't, but it is. It is, because Guardiola is a coach that does not uh, allow for a dropping of standards at any point. And that's what makes him so successful. But this was a good friendly. The football was good. It was intelligent. It was composed. There's some lovely, elegant, composed play from some of these academy lads who played like senior players at times. Um, they are talented. They are talented. Hopefully by the next game, Romeo Lavi and Tommy Doyle have got some fitness so they can get some minutes in their belt as well because they are good young players. It doesn't look like they're going to see Delap, unfortunately, because the rumours are suggesting that he's going to Stoke, which is, I'm torn on. I wanted Delap around the first team, but, um, you know, Delap's a very good footballer and I understand if we do go for Harry Kane, he'll want to get some football somewhere. He's far too good for the Premier League too. He's far too good for the EDS. He really is. Um, it's a step above his level by a long, long way. He broke the goal-scoring record last season at under-23's level. So he can't stay in that division. So we all know that. So you won't see him. I think he'll go to Stoke. Do not be surprised if he bags 25 goals to Stoke next season. The guy is an actual born goal scorer. Uh, we won't see him, unfortunately. But I've enjoyed these preseason friendlies so far. It's been an awful lot of fun. And thank you to everyone who joined as well on the Twitch stream. Um, I will do another stream, possibly a watch along on YouTube uh, for the game on Tuesday as well. For now, though, thank you for watching this video. Let me know down in the comments what you make of it. I'm wearing the shirt as well, by the way. Lovely, isn't it? I really like this shirt. It's nice. It's really grown on me. Go watch my review as well, which will be on screen round about now if you want to. And I don't know when the fab stream's coming from Fabrizio Romano, but I'll, I'll work it out. It'll be good fun either way. And big love, of course, as well to every single one who's watching this video. And Scott Denneby, my Patreon producer. Asan will be on as well the next couple of days at some point. But City, shit's good, man. Jack Grealish is going to be a Man City player, in my opinion. Kane wants to play for Man City. We've just won 4-0. Life is looking good. And we've got a beautiful new away shirt. Wonderful stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you all very, very soon.